hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel you're highly welcome so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to conceive a male child or a boy so you wouldn't want to miss any tip let's go there the first one is know your menstrual cycle I've done a video on how to calculate your menstrual cycle, how to know your ovulation period. So make sure you go check out the video. For those people with irregular menstruation, just minus 14 days from your menstrual cycle. If you have 35 days menstrual cycle, just minus 14 days out of it. If you have 28 days menstrual cycle, just minus 14 days out of it to get your ovulation or fertile period, or you can actually divide it by two to get it. So, if you have 24 days, 25 days, up to 35 days menstrual cycle, there is no cause for alarm. It is not abnormal. It is okay. 28 days menstrual cycle is just the average menstrual cycle. Majority of people has this 28 days menstrual cycle. That is why they call it average menstrual cycle. So, if you want to know your menstrual cycle, just download a period tracker from your Google Play Store or your Apple Store to check it for minimum of three months or maximum of six months to know your menstrual cycle or secondly you can actually buy a buy an ovulation strip in order to check or track your ovulation period to know your peak day because what we need is that ovulation fertile day gone gone for this conception of a male child and uh, if you don't have a phone or you can't afford this ovulation strip just calm down you can actually use a signs of ovulation to know your ovulation period some comes with abdominal cramps you know mood swing breast tenderness diarrhea constipation and so on and so forth so you can actually use that sign to track your ovulation period this brings us to our second tips eh? because the reason why you have to know your menstrual period is because of the ovulation day and the second tip is the time for the sex mm. you have to have sex on your ovulation day which is the peak day why do we have to have sex on your ovulation day because you know the, the man now releases X, Y, sex chromosome, just put it in the layman's language, X and Y sperm. Mm? He either releases the X sperm or the Y sperm, you know, when he releases the X sperm, why the woman now releases the S egg now or over, they will not give it to a female child, but if he releases a Y sperm, which will now go to, you know, fertilize the X egg or ova and I give it to a female child so that is how it works so the X sperm is slow in movement in the motility it's very very slow and it lasts longer it's lived longer that is it can last up to five days why the Y sperm now is very fast in motility and it's short lived lasts or it stay for three days we want to have sex under your peak day ovulation day because you have to allow the egg to wait for the sperm and not the other way around maybe the sperm now waiting for the egg it, okay ovulation period now is on the 14th of this month of this april and and i had says around 9th of april uh, there's a probability that it will be fertilized by the by the s sperm because it has stayed you know for a long time but i did being on the 14th of april which is my ovulation or peak day and i had says on this 14th day there's a probability that the white sperm which is fast because the egg is already waiting for it was then immediately and now you know when to the white sperm now will be the one to fertilize it so that is the essence of this timing and another thing third tip is 
I think from sex, after having the sex on your ovulation period, the big day, you will not abstain from sex for some time, if possible, even for like a week, so that the the sperm will fertilize, it really want to fertilize, because there is no way, as far as in your ovulation, your fertile period, you are going to get pregnant actually. The fourth one is preconception, multivitamin and folic acid use. Before getting pregnant, you have to make everywhere okay. You have to take some uh, multivitamin that is going to boost your fertility. And like we have pregnant care. If you cannot afford this pregnant care, just take your normal folic acid and multivitamin to make everywhere, you know, ready for the conception. And another thing is eat rich food. Eat rich food and fruits, spinach, green vegetable, whatever it is, tiger nuts, so many things that you can go search it. Rich food to you know to 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 take because it also help in boosting your fertility. So our fifth tip now is it takes two to tango mm? because you cannot boost your fertility and leave your husband. Mm -mm. So here comes when you have to do everything to make that sperm healthy you have to eat rich food maybe if you are taking banana or any fruits or food give him also even the multivitamin self he needs to take it and his clothing you don't have to wear a whole thick or a tight clothes that is scrotum needs a cool environment that is why it is outside if not it's supposed to be inside so the temperature is actually 34.4 degrees Celsius and anything higher than this is very detrimental to the this thing and we also need enough you know sperm count and a healthy sperm because it's a sperm that is healthy that has good morphology good viability and good motility Nahingo first take over is, is survival of the fittest, the strongest, the most resilient sperm. Nahingo fertilize the egg. So, another thing is everything is God. <laughs> Before trying to, you know, tell these tips, you have to involve God because if God doesn't watch the city, the, the watchman watches in vain. But you have to put God first. And this is not a medium to say a girl child is not important. A girl child is important. It's just, it, this, thing, this thing is just for educational purpose. God gives a boy or a girl the blessings from the Almighty God. So we, you've given birth to a, a female child and you want a male child. That's just it. Thank you for watching this video. We have all the amazing videos on our YouTube channel.